We're past October. We've seen a lot of leaves come down. Maybe some more today with some rangers. Watch out. Could be a little slippery when wet. We've got some wet weather right now taking place up over the Tug Hill. Primarily dry right now, but showers are going to be increasing. Here's your leaf raking forecast if you want to clear up your yard. In some spots, you will have no problem at 7, 8 a.m. when the it's almost 8 a.m. the sunrise now, so hopefully you're not <laughs> raking the leaves at 7 a.m. It's like 6, 7.39 is the sun when it comes up. All right, well, not much today, though. It's mostly overcast at 8 a.m., a chance for a spotty shower. As we get towards late morning, midday, early afternoon, probably not going to want to with some scattered rain showers around. Not that it's going to rain that whole period. We're mild at least, and we start to dry out a little bit later in the afternoon. I personally would hold off from raking until tomorrow when things are going to be quieter. We'll have a light breeze this afternoon, 5 to 10, maybe a gust to 15 miles per hour. So that's going to you know, bring down some leaves. We've got a little storm system moving through, but it's a weak one. Not really overly impressed with this. Those showers which are building here in southwestern New York, Pennsylvania, are going to slide in for our midday. But there's already drying being found west of Cleveland around Detroit and going into Michigan. Skies are clearing. I do think we'll get into that drier air late this evening and some clearing, but that'll only allow our temperature to go down and we're going to see some low clouds and fog form. Only a slight temperature drop behind this, then high pressure is going to be building in and it's going to be with us for a while and it's going to be warming us up as well. Let's cut to the chase here with our future cast. Those rain showers scattered around here at 10, 11, noon, 1, 2 o'clock. Have the umbrella handy. Not that it's going to rain that whole time. I think it's pretty much over cast here though 62 getting up to 65 between one and two and then the temperature falls late in the afternoon with these scattered rain showers going into the evening we're drying out partially clearing a chance for some patchy mist or drizzle along with fog forming and after midnight it could be locally dense you see how obscured it is here with the white and gray so it's either clouds low clouds or some fog around that could impact your wednesday morning commute by the Wednesday evening commute clears out nicely, but that process to clear is going to take a while. And while it's looking like it's going to happen pretty quickly so that by midday we're fairly sunny, I think let's hold off on that clearing until later in the afternoon. But eventually towards sunset, we're mostly sunny. Temperatures drop to 60 degrees, five degrees cooler than what we have today, but still more than five degrees above average. Tomorrow night's cool. We get some patchy valley fog. Thursday high pressure is over us. Same with Friday, and we're going to be surging temperature wise potentially to record levels as we go towards this upcoming weekend. So we'll see 65 mild degrees today with clouds and scattered showers. A touch of a wind this afternoon. Less wind tomorrow as we clear on out 60 degrees and then temperatures go up with the sunshine. My pick day is Friday 71 gorgeous with lots of sunshine. Clouds increase on Saturday. We've got the veterans parade on that day. The record is 73. I say we outdo it with 74. 75 ties a record on Sunday with mainly afternoon showers morning showers for the cold front on Monday.